So here we are in Google Docs, and I want to show you one of the newer features that Google Docs has Im included, which is using the at symbol to do or add a lot of different things to your Google Doc. So if I type that at symbol, it's now going to give me a variety of different things. It's going to say it's going to give an, some option up here. Um, it might be a new option, option I haven't tried. In this case, it's saying, hey, do you want an email draft? So I'm going to click on that and see what it returns. Once it does that, it tells me, okay, who do I want to send this to? I'm going to just send it to myself. Um, no need to really make things more complicated. Then I'm going to give it a subject. Um, hey. And of course, I am going to write, you know, a, a, a great bunch of deep text here, blah, blah, blah. And then, bye. Now, once I feel like this is ready, I can click on preview in Gmail. And now it's going to pop up this draft in my Gmail. And if it looks good, if it looks all set to go, right, it's brought the text over. Um, I may say perfect. Now, one thing I notice with this is that I have a signature in my Gmail generally, and it's not bringing that signature in. That could, you know, you may want that, and if you do, then you just kind of enter a space, and typically there is a button here uh, along the bottom of your, before you hit, or along the line where you hit send, uh, there is a button to insert signature. Um, and it can ask which one. I'm going to select, I think, my signature. Yep, that's my signature. And then it's all set to go, and I can just hit send. Um, so that's a real cool feature, you know, if you're in here, it, you know, if you want to write it somewhere and kind of have the visual, um, this makes that a whole lot easier. Uh, and so I can hit that at, and then I, this time around, it gives me an emoji. So yeah, let me see, what emoji do I want to insert into this document? I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to go with this one just because it always makes me laugh, right? All right, so I have the swearing emoji in there. If I hit at again, now it's just defaulting to are there people that you want to tag? So what's nice about this is if I put this in, um, it's going to send an email letting that person know, oh, I have tagged you here. Um, so that's a really cool feature, especially if you're collaborating with somebody and you want them to kind of uh, find the space or look at something or just know that they're included. So what are some other features, right? If we go to that at, uh, we have these uh, possible drop down features they get they have what they call building blocks and so you can actually start to you know they have some default stuff in here that you can play around with so you can do meeting notes right so if i click on meeting notes uh it's going to say okay which which meeting do you want to add to notes to right if i decide i want to Instead, add something different if I want to a product a product roadmap or a review tracker. If I'm created, if I have some kind of process, right? Let's take a look at the product roadmap. Now it's saying product roadmap, but this can really be for any kind of project management you want to be doing. I can select, and now it tells me, oh, what's the project name? It gives me a sense of statuses. It gives me what my a place where I can put in related files and additional notes. So. The status is nice. I have, um, if I click on that, it gives me three different options, but I can also add an edit option. So maybe I have not started, in progress, launched. Uh, maybe I want to add another option that says uh, completed, right? That's different from launch. Launch means it's running, and maybe I want this one uh, to be very, very bold in relation to these other colors. I can also change the order if I want, drag them up and down and stuff. So. It's pretty cool, um, and of course, it's going to ask, do you want this? To, you know, do you want to apply this just this instant or to all? I'm going to say just this instant. So notice now I have these four options. So if, if I want to keep track of something, uh, a project, maybe this document is, uh, I'm using this at the top of the document to track this project, or I'm using it to track lots of different projects. Um, you know, I across many different places. I can have this as a central hub. Um, so that at tool, you know, I would encourage you, you can tag other documents, you can tag people. There's lots of different resources and I would just encourage you to kind of get in and play around and see what are some of the other things that it does uh, that it can help, you know, make this a little more interactive space, make this a place that has more information readily available. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have questions and thank you so much.